just thought I would show you um, I just made up the baubles the snow globes for my work colleagues I've got three guys in my team um, so I got them each a bottle of a small bottle of um, Shivers Regal single malt whiskey it's just the little one that you'd have like in a hotel room or something you know just the little ones and then I put some um, quality street chocolates in each with the tinsel and the pom-poms and some ribbon and that's their little Christmas gift so I just thought I'd share that with you it's quite cute you can see the bottle in there so I had to put the bottle in upside down because you've got to fill it from below and um, yeah great gift idea <laughs> and out of the box of quality street chocolates three of these which are quite large I got plus a few extras for Wayne and I to share for dessert. So, and the Quality Street was on special for $12 for a big box. So, can't um, pass that up. Morning, everyone. Um, I think it's day 16 of Vlogmas. Can't be sure. I forgot to look at the day this morning. I think it's day 16. I haven't done my hair. <laughs> it's all frizzy, wavy. Um, I'm just logging on for the day and then I'm going to go and have a shower and get organised, um, and do some work. But, um, I thought I'd just check in with you guys. If you're wondering why I'm wearing this thin feather boa in purples and blues and whatever's, oranges, it's very cute, isn't it? So soft because I finally was able to print out the pattern that I want to make for Wayne for Christmas as a fun thing because he's a kid at heart. If you like the Muppets or Sesame Street or anything, and especially if you've got young kids at home that you know are old enough to sew with a needle and thread, they might really enjoy this, or you're a kid at heart. Um, is I found a pattern by Adam Kreutinger and there's a video I'll link below and you can go to his website and register and get the pattern for free. You get about seven downloads of it. Um, and he has other patterns on there as well. But he's got step-by-step -step videos on how to do this. But it's called um, Make Your Own Snoof um, Hand Puppet. And... <clears throat> that's Snoof. And um, so you just need half a yard of fabric, 5 by 5 inch, um, like fleece or felt, um, and then 5 by 5 inch square of felt, 5 by 5 inch square of mouth plate support material like craft foam or stiff felt or even like, I guess, um, the lid, plastic lid of an uh, ice cream container or something, thread, sewing needle, hot glue, and also I've got to get some ping pong balls for the eyes. Um, and it's all hand sewn, ideally because it's fur you can hand sew it, um, you can do it on the machine but it is easier he said to do it by hand sewing and also it is handy if you've got like a scalpel that you can cut the fur with rather than scissors um, because you don't want to cut the fur short. So I'll show you the fur I got, I got it at Spotlight on sale so there is a whole section at Spotlight that has specifically furs or fleeces, uh, very expensive to buy. But then on their other table, you know, when you're lining up um, to go to the counters to get fabric cut, there's rolls of fabric 
on special sometimes well I found some fleece there so it wasn't necessarily I was going to go for green um, but I couldn't find that so I got this for like eight I think it was eight dollars a meter and I got a meter and a little bit extra because there was nothing left on the roll and so I got this purple faux fur it's very luxurious uh, purple color very deep purple sorry the light's not very good in here but you can tell it's very purpley and then I got this feather boa to go with it which I think matches perfectly and it is going to be for the arms of the puppet so I'm going to put that on dowels and then it'll have those furry arms that you see on the Muppets so I got plenty of this I'll just halve it and put one half for each arm and so that's what I got to do so I wanted to share that with you because you might want to do it too um, it's a really fun project to do over the school holidays and then you know you can enjoy naming your puppet and bringing about its personality <laughs> um, so yeah so I thought I'd share that with you today it's just a work from home day. Yesterday I worked in the office, but nothing exciting happened. I handed the guys their Christmas present, which I've got one here till next week because one of them wasn't there. Um, and it's one I've showed on the video previously um, at the start of this before I came on. So it's got the whiskey in there and chocolates. So that's for my boss when he comes in next week for our uh, Christmas lunch. On Tuesday next week so um, yeah it's a sunny day top of oh partially cloudy actually um, top of 24 degrees Celsius I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit um, I'm enjoying this cooler summer weather which is good so yeah so I'm just gonna I've logged on so time to get a little bit of work done then go and have a shower and get freshened up and um, get through today Friday yay welcome to Friday and tomorrow Wayne has to do some stuff um, picking up some stuff to take to the dump from uh, his brother-in-law's our brother-in-law's um, front yard and then um, Sunday we might go for a picnic to Bribey Island so stay tuned might have something to actually show you. I um, I've just made a cup of coffee. I used lactose-free, like Zimmel, um, light um, milk, and it didn't froth up hardly at all. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It's either overflowing or not frothing or not frothing enough or whatever. Anyway. <laughs> get there eventually um so I've had a shower as you can see my hair's still wet um so even though I'm in a black top again I have a lot of black tops that's my uniform now that the light's out I thought I'd just show you this again where the light's better you can see the purple Woo! and I got so much here I could make multiple so maybe I will I can give them away or sell them and this boa which is gorgeous and it's going to be perfect for its little its little arms <laughs> oh dear i've just given the dogs a i think there's a snake been outside because paris was hunting out there so i've brought them in and just given them a because sooty wanted to eat a rock and i don't have any defrosted bones so <coughs> I'm just skipping them a kangaroo tendon to gnaw on. It'll take them about five minutes, so I'll get five minutes piece, and I'll get back into work. Thrilling day. <laughs> I think the snake's gone back in the wall. Paris was out there harassing or something, so I brought them back in. I brought her back inside and shut the door. So Snakey must have been coming out to have a. Cyril the snake must have wanted to have a sunbathe, but mm, 
not coming out now because it must have got a bit of a fright from the dog. But they sort of live in the rock wall there. <sighs> change my password ah. <laughs> changing it then I gotta write it down because I can't remember it not very secure um, I've put the dishwasher on put the kettle on swept the stairs on the front foyer put a load of washing on um, tidied one corner of my desk so need to give that a wipe down because it's covered in dust and then I'll feel a bit more like I can breathe. <laughs> um, because at the moment I just feel like chaos. <laughs> so it'll feel better once I get it tidied up. Wayne's on his way home. It's a bit warm. Even though it's overcast. It's a bit humid. I think rain clouds have come over. I think it's going to rain later. Um, I'm not sure if we'll take the dogs for a walk this afternoon or whether we'll, we've got a pork belly we could cook. So if Wayne's coming home early, maybe he can cook that on the barbecue um, and have that with roast taties and uh, veggies for dinner tonight. Or maybe we'll have steak and herb butter with taties roasted and veggies. We'll see what happens, but anyway, Wayne's going to come home and work from home for the rest of the afternoon, which is awesome. And just looking forward to relaxing this afternoon a bit. I do need to tidy up the lounge room. It looks like a bomb hit it. That's what I did partial of. I got rid of some clothes, so I need to empty the clothes era because we don't have a clothesline. So I have two eras plus a hanging sort of thing where I can hang stuff. Um, I've just got to take this work call. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, I was really at the end of what I was going to say. I'm just waiting for the kettle to whistle because we have a gas stove so we put the kettle on the stove and it whistles. Um, have a nice cup of tea and what time is it? 1.36. Oh god, feels like it should be like 3 o'clock. I finish at 3.30, so two hours to go. Yay! I've got through all my emails at least, so that's one positive. So anyway, I will plot away trying to clean little bits here and there so I make some sort of progress and feel like I've got somewhere today. <laughs> um, if I don't check in again later, I'll catch you tomorrow.
have a little wall here on the side of my cupboard. That's my cat, Miss Pearl, who passed away 3rd of July 2021. She was 20 years and 5 months old, and that's one of Pearl and the two dogs when they were puppies. And one of my beloved Newcastle with some surfers, a coal ship waiting to come in, and a whale. Miss Newcastle. Um, but my mum sent me this. Um, it's just a like a ad, like a business card type thing. But I'm going to put it up because it's um, I have my sewing machine under that quilt top. So I'm just going to put it. Uh, maybe I'll put it here with just some washi tape. I might put some on the bottom as well, I don't know, I'll leave it. So that's just on the side of my cupboard, near where I sit and sew on my machine. Then I have this um, print that I got on sale for like 16 bucks or $12 from Spotlight. And it's a Jocelyn Proust print, I love her patterns, like her fabric line and everything. And then I've got my Just Want Some Bunny To Love pattern that that's my model that I stitched. It was one of my first patterns. It's got a little pearl, freshwater pearl for its tail. And this is my small from the retreat earlier this year, which if you want, you can go back to about June and see that just before I got COVID. And that's a vintage find that my mum found at the op shop. And there's another one on the table because I pilfered it off this to make room for that so <laughs> till I get some more hooks um, but this is a cute little bird and there's another bird that I've got so that's that in my cupboard I should show you my little teddy collection I've got this cute little one I bought from Etsy from a Spanish seller all handmade it's like an amigurumi one so cute I've got my smurf figurines that I got in the 70s when I was a kid from my dad, um, a waxer, and another smurf, and then a, like a seed pod, oops, and then I made this little teddy back in the 90s, I used to make lots of them. I even used to sell some. They're just made out of felt. And these ones I purchased back in the 90s. This one, look how small it is. There's my thumbnail, which my thumbnail's not very big, and it's as big as my thumbnail. This one's not much bigger. So adorable. So cute. I forget I bought them from some little shop somewhere. And I've got my collection of favourite old um, cassettes, Scorpions, uh, 1927, which is an Australian band, Smash Hits, 87, <gasps> takes me back. Please tell me there's other people older, as old as me. <laughs> and my very first cassette that I ever bought when I got my first double tape cassette recorder, so you could record, um, Mel and Kim FLM. So my double tape cassette recorder, I was so excited to get. And it was pink, <laughs> pale pink. And that was the first cassette I ever bought, or like had for my birthday, that was what I had on my wish list. Ah, takes me back. A little car. And my Lego Flintstones. And then Wayne got me this when he went to Cairns recently as my little souvenir. It's a little snow globe. And oh, there's another little tiny teddy. I'll put him up here with his friends. So he doesn't feel lonely. So he's not much bigger. Uh, then I always collect seashells. 
and rocks when I go to the beach. I think that, oh it's got one of my, my hairs caught, caught on it. Yeah, I think this is one Sooty tried to eat, so I thought I'll keep that as a souvenir. Ah, and this is actually, I've had this for ages. I'm not Catholic, but when I was in um, Rome, I bought a rosary set. And that's it there. And I came in this case. So I've had that sitting there for ages. An old Singer accessories box. I love my toucan. Well, I call him my toucan. I don't know. Is he a toucan? Yeah. And up here I have some more teddies. This one's got some embroidery on him. I've got Mr. Emu. I have under his bum, I think. No, that's my Bambi. An old McDonald's toy. And that's my dad when he was a young boy. Look at his feral jumper, cardigan, zip up cardigan. That must have been when he was going to school or Sunday vest. And this is an old camera of mum's. Doesn't pull out anymore. And my dad's old, I think it was my, my dad's and then my mum's little travel clock. It doesn't work anymore, but I don't think. That takes me back. Mum used to always have it by her bedside. Yeah. And then I'm a huge Archie fan from way back. So I have a heap of Archie comics. These are just a few of them that I got from the op shop, but I've got more in the cupboard. Anybody else like Archie? There's another one of my Archie comics. Wayne just got home. He um, stopped at the butcher. Got us some meat, I think, for the weekend. Is that right, Wayne? Yes. For the picnic. And some very bloody uh, brisket bones for the hoons, aka Sooty and Paris. And they're wagging their tail. You want some meat? Oh yeah, smell it, smell it. Oh yum, yummy. Thanks, Dad. You ready, Sid? Sid. Oh yum. Sooty doesn't want to come, so she can have hers. Let's just put over there. Paris is gonna try both. Oh yum. a miracle that you could put into a bland dish and just give it life and warmth and and flavor and and that that, that sense of uh, of, uh, of luxury really because the, you know spices were so